वेलकम टू मी डेज वीकली राउंड अप एंड हेयर आर द टॉप न्यूज स्टोरीज ऑफ द वीक मुंबई थाने एंड नियर बाई एरियाज व हेड बाय अ सडन डस्ट स्टॉम एंड रेन शावर्स ऑन थर्टीन मे लिविंग लोकैलिटीज इन शॉक स्ट्रॉन्ग वेंट्स हैवी रेन एंड रिड्यूस विजिबिलिटी ड्यू टू द डस्ट स्टॉम व विटनेस ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट द लोकल्स क्विकली टुक टू सोशल मीडिया टू शेयर इमेजेस एंड वीडियोज ऑफ द इंटेंस स्टॉम द इवेंट कॉज सिवियर डैमेज टू लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी One unfortunate incident that was the highlight was the illegal hoarding collapse in Ghatkopar that left several dead. PM Narendra Modi's visit to Mumbai was definitely one of the biggest news makers of the week. This week PM Modi held a massive road show in Ghatkopar on 15th May and held a rally at Shivaji Park Dadar alongside Raj Thakre on 17th May. The area turned festive as supporters from BJP, Eknath Shinde, Shiv Sena and Ajit Pawar's NCP gathered in huge numbers to welcome the PM. Supporters were seen chanting PM Modi's name and slogan of Char So Par as PM Modi made his way to Mumbai to support the Mahayuti Alliance. A third top story of the week was that of BJP candidate from Hyderabad, Madhvi Lata, reacting to FIR registered against her for checking the IDs of Muslim women on May 14th. She launched a scathing attack on Hyderabad police and alleged that they are free to register FIR against her, but she added that she is getting the medal like FIRs for telling the truth. Mera FIR kahan se shuru hua? Ram Ban se shuru ho gaya. To achhe shagun hai. तो डालते न्याय के ऊपर एफ आई एफ आई आर धर्म के ऊपर एफ आई आर सच्चाई के ऊपर एफ आई आर हिम्मत दिखाने के लिए एफ आई आर सच के लिए लड़कर एफ आई आर उनकी मेडल्स A fourth top story of the week was that of POK activist Ayum Mirza urging India to focus all its attention on POK. India cannot remain aloof from the situation current situation in Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir. Amid the Lok Sabha polls in India, voices to merge Pakistan occupied Kashmir has grown louder. Time and again, India has remained resolute, calling entire Jammu and Kashmir including POK as part of India. Meanwhile, anti-POK protests in several regions of Pakistan's illegally occupied Kashmir have rocked the neighbor. People in the region, particularly the younger generation, have confronted Pakistani forces on the streets. Clashes have also ensued between security personnel and protesters in Muzaffarabad, Nadiyal, Mirpur, and other parts of POK. Amid the unrest, political activist Amjad Ayub Mirza appealed to India to focus on POK as the situation is getting out of hand there. Taking a step ahead he said that India must not follow the footsteps of previous regimes by ignoring POK. The situation is getting worse by the day. India must act. India has to act. India now should focus all its attention on Pakistani occupied Jammu and Kashmir. A top fifth story of the week was BJP's Madhvi Lata casting her vote. BJP's Madhvi Lata was contesting against AIMIM chief Asaduddin Owaisi from Hyderabad. Madhvi Lata showed her ring finger after casting her vote. She also appealed to people to come out of their houses and vote and said that even one vote counts. So these were the top news of the week on midday. Hope you have a great weekend ahead. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.